But first, we saw crowds making their voices heard against police violence. That was for a six night here in Indianapolis. Demonstrators are home this evening on the first night without a curfew. Fox 59's Brett Cass has been downtown all night. And Brett, what have you seen? Yeah, Michelle, it's been pretty quiet here. We actually do still have a few people uh, still out here and, and a pretty large police presence downtown. You see this gentleman talking uh, to some officers right now, but the actual protest, uh, the, the large protest we saw earlier uh, had ended a few hours ago, and they were here all day on the streets demanding justice for George Floyd, justice for Drajon Reed, and fundamental change. Now, we joined in with them at the city county building around 5 and then walked with that group up to the library downtown through Military Park and then back to Monument Circle. The crowd there kept growing in size, and at one point it looked like we had about 400 people marching throughout the street we saw people of all ages and all races there and seeing the protests going on across the country and the world gives some the sense that this time may be different well like Trayvon Martin that time was different because we didn't physically see it happen we physically watched this man die everybody around the world watched this man be murdered on camera this is different when you're seeing that type of thing face to face it completely changes how you feel about things now, the police had given the protesters the space to march and protest, following the group and blocking off roads and intersections. And those we talked to today said they plan to be back out here at Monument Circle tomorrow at 4 p.m. As you see here, we have some uh, some people here on the street still talking to some officers. But for the most part, it has been very quiet here on the circle. Reporting downtown, I'm Brett Cass, Fox 59 News. All right, Brett, thank you. Well, new from Minneapolis, all four ex-officers involved in George Floyd's homicide, they are now in custody. Charges against